Hi, my name is Karen Hoffman, and I'm making this video for fun and entertainment and playing enjoyment only. Your individual orchestra teacher or director will tell you the individual styling and bowings and such that they would like you to play. This is for your fun and playing enjoyment and to use for educational purposes as needed. This is Ein Klein Nacht music. This is the violin one part. I'm going to start out with it a little bit on the slower side so that you can play along from the beginning. rehearsal spots when we usually run this piece. First of all, at the very beginning, we have a nice long down bow. That's going to take us from the frog towards the upper half of the bow. But the next note is a shorter eighth note. So we want to lift the bow and get back to the lower part of the bow. So it's gonna go lift, go back to the frog and get ready for a small up bow. Lift again so that you're in the lower half of the bow. Lift, get ready for an up bow. Lift, back to the lower half of the bow, get ready for an up bow. So that's how the opening is done. I'm gonna do it now the first four measures without stopping. So you do a long bow, lift, go back to the lower half, prepare for an up bow. First four measures. It's going to be pianissimo, so we want to lighten up the bow so that there is less pressure on the string. Think more of your bow as feathering the string. We also want to move the bow away from the bridge and closer and over to the fingerboard. So measure 11, we're going to lighten up. go even closer to the tip which is even lighter go even lighter for this echo section which you want to be even softer starting at the tip way over the fingerboard tip the stick of the bow away from you so only one bow hair is touching the string When you get to 18, you travel the bow from the fingerboard back to the bridge, dig in for the first two beats of measure 18, and then instantly lighten up for the last two beats of measure 18. Here's 18, dig in for two beats, lighten up for two beats, dig in for the first two beats of 19, and then lighten up for the last two beats of 19. Measure 18. <laughs> So 
dig in, lighten, dig in, lighten. Let's do that again. <laughs> Sixteenth notes. It's a quarter note divided into four groups of four. One e and a two e and a three e and a go. And then you're to the top note, which also should be the loudest note in all of those. We're jumping down now to measure thirty-three, thirty-two, and thirty-three. In the violin one part, we have the same eighth note on the same note for two measures. This is measure 32. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and. If we play all of those A's exactly the same, it's going to be monotone and boring. So each note needs to change character a little bit, and each note needs to get a little bit louder. Also, we give a little bit more of an emphasis to the beat and a little bit less of an emphasis to an and. So the ands will be a little bit lighter than the number. So it's going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. We also want to start out softer and each one gets a little bit louder. This is measure 32 with a dynamic progression. Start as soft as light and with as little bow as possible. Three and four and one and two and three and four and travel to the bridge. Bridge, lighten, lighten. So along with lightening, you're traveling from the fingerboard closer to the bridge and then traveling from the bridge back closer to the fingerboard again. If you were to measure the distance between the fingerboard and the bridge on a violin, you're going to have an inch and a half inch and three quarters, two inch of travel. On the viola, you're gonna have more like two, two and a quarter inches of travel. On a cello, you're gonna have four to six inches of travel and a bass is huge. Imagine covering four inches of direction between your fingerboard and your bridge. All of that's bowable space and we don't wanna bow it all the same. So here's measure 32 again. Start out lighter and start out softer, 32. Start over the fingerboard with as little bow as you can. In two measures, you're gonna to travel to the bridge and you're going to make it louder and use a little bit more weight in order to change dynamics. Measure 32, three and four and one. Jumping over to measure 43 now. We're going to have a nice little light piano section on measures 43 and the first half of 44. And at the second half of 44, we have those repeated notes again. We never want to play two notes next to each other with the same dynamic. So think about how we worked on the repeated notes in measure 32 and 33. And let's start at measure 43. Think of traveling the bow between the fingerboard and the bridge, and also think about lightening up the bow or digging into the string more in order to change dynamics. Measure 43. Lighten. Travel. Lighten. Travel. Dig. Lighten. Dig. Lighten. So traveling the bow between fingerboard and bridge and also just digging in heavier and lightening, digging in heavier and lightening will help out with all of those dynamics. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning. We're going to play from the beginning to 56 again. Start thinking about some of those cues as you play along. So here it is from the beginning again.
job. How did it go? Think about what things you were able to do better. Think about what things you want to work on again for next time. Make recordings of your own videos, of your own playing, and get yourself out of the role of performer and into the role of listener. Ask yourself things like, did I really change dynamic enough? Or can I change dynamic more? Try to write down one to three things that you liked about your playing, but also write down one to three things that you wanna work on and then record it again. See if you were able to keep some of those things that you liked in the playing and also see if you were able to implement some of the changes that you would like to change. We're going to run the whole piece now from the top. It may not be perfect for any of us, and that's okay. This is for the enjoyment of playing and just feel like we're playing together, we're together as a community, we're here because we love sharing music for ourselves and for others. I incline all the way through.
performance today and playing along as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Again, this was not designed to be perfect for anything, but I hope that you enjoy some playing and some sense of music community as you play along to the music with either the violin one part or the viola, cello, or bass. And don't forget the viola part. So go ahead and enjoy your parts. Enjoy playing along. And if you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out to me. Enjoy and have a wonderful day.